the most common type of brain tumor is a metastatic brain tumor, a tumor that forms from a tumor in another part of the body and then grows in the brain. Those types of tumors are about 10 times more common than a primary brain tumor that grows from a brain cell like glioblastoma. They can be equally deadly though. Different types include non-small cell lung cancer, uh, breast cancer, and others that can grow in the brain. So they're very difficult to treat in large part because the brain is a difficult part of the body to get drugs and treatments into. And in addition, the tumors are growing near important things for our function. So we're trying to while walk that tightrope of tre effectively treating a tumor, sometimes a very aggressive tumor in the brain while sparing the nearby brain tissues and, and preserving function for the patient. There's a current study for non-small cell lung cancer. It's a consortium of sites um, led by uh, InsightTech. We're looking at using focused ultrasound to improve the delivery of a new therapeutic, a drug called pembrolizumab, which is a checkpoint inhibitor drug, also called an immunotherapy drug. And these types of drugs don't commonly get into the brain because they're actually antibodies, larger drug substances or entities. And so to get them across the blood tumor barrier and into the brain, we're looking at using this blood-brain barrier disruption technique with the micro microbubbles to improve the delivery into those tumors. So we're hopeful that by providing more of this drug into the tumor microenvironment in the brain that we may be able to activate the body's natural immune uh, response to the tumor and clear the tumor naturally. And this is the way this drug works elsewhere in the body and has been quite successful for tumors like non-small cell lung cancer outside of the brain in addition to other metastatic tumors in and around the body, including melanoma and others. It is a pivotal study, so if it works, we will have a new treatment for non-small cell lung cancer brain metastasis, which is, would be a very, very promising, uh, exciting new opportunity for these patients who don't really have other great options.